Bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to my channel where we talk about the practical usage of VR. In today's episode for season one, episode three, we're going to talk about how to use your media library because that is pretty, pretty important. But before we do that, let's roll the intro. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about how to access and play your media content because you can upload pictures, you can upload videos and also VR content to your Oculus Go. By the way, Oculus are going to come out with two new headsets very soon, which is going to be the Oculus Quest and also another version of the Oculus Rift. And this we interrupt this program to bring you a special report. It's time to do the unboxing. DJ, cue the music. Let's get this pumping. All right, are you ready to find out what's inside? We're going to take over the world with this thing. The Oculus Go, to be very honest with you, is more than enough to get into VR and it's more for people who really want to be into more hardcore gaming. If you want to do practical usage of VR and business, use it in business or use it to relax or all these kind of things, then this headset is definitely more than enough. Okay, so on this note, let's jump into the Oculus Go headset. Okay, so we're inside the Oculus Go, which is, this is where you'll be taken after you power on your Oculus. And by the way, uh, Oculus have provided some new skins, which are pretty cool. Uh, this looks like it was digitally created and it's an alien island. So I'm just going slowly to show you around and it's pretty, pretty awesome. I really like this. You can choose different screens. They have some new ones. Look, wow, look at this planet. It's just just really takes me in another, in another place. So today we're talking about how to view your uh, media content onto the Oculus Go. So first we go to the uh, menu, which I'm flicking on and off here, and you must be in Navigate. Then you go simply to Gallery here, and it will load up your option screens. So there's actually more than two ways to view your media, by the way. Either you can do it internally or you can do it via Facebook, but you also can connect to other ways and you can also view in other apps. So, you know, if we go into home, there are various different apps you, you can access. And I'll show you in a separate video, what are some of the other apps you can actually view your media from. But for this video, I want to keep it very simple and show you the fastest and easiest way. So first of all, before we, we, we move forward, I just want to talk about, you know, why would you want to view your media using a, a VR headset and not your phone or your tablet or maybe a laptop? It's very simple. If you're a content creator, maybe a videographer, a photographer, uh, or you're in animation or in movies, or maybe you're a marketeer or in sales, or you're an event manager, and you really want to see your content in the most immersive way, really big, up close, then this is the best way. It will give you the best results. You'll know whether your images are blurry, pixelated, etc., etc., and you'll really be able to feel and, and, and experience this content in a really, really cool, immersive way. So, Let's hop on into my Facebook account. So everything is basically loaded up there. Whatever you put in your Facebook, using your phone, your computer, it will be there. And I also took some pictures for a friend just for fun. Um, she's a ceramicist and um, I went to her studio. She's moving to Hong Kong. And you know, you can really see uh, up close the image. So just imagine you're doing a conference or you're doing a seminar or a wedding maybe, and you have a really big, really big screen, you know, maybe it's eight feet by 10 or something like this. And you can really tell, oh, okay, so this is how it looks. It looks sharp. By the way, none of these pictures have been uh, color corrected, just FYI. Um, so these are just raw images. And again, if I'm a content creator or I'm, I'm, I'm in business and I need content that's supplied to me by a content creator, I can really see it really up close and in a very immersive way. 
So this really helps me. Okay, so another way to view your content, of course, is through the eternal storage. In a couple of minutes, I will show you how to transfer your content from your PC to your Oculus Go. Of course, you can go in the cloud via Facebook or other apps, as I mentioned before, but this I will do in a separate video. So internal storage first will load up all your media, doesn't matter what media, where it comes from. But the best way to look at it is through albums. So if you go to the top, then albums, here we go. You'll have various albums. So some of the media basically come from uh, different you know, applications. It can come some from the apps, for example, Outspace VR. You can take some selfies over there. I'll do this in a separate video. I won't do the gaming aspect of Outspace VR. I will do the practical application of uh, this specific app. And then you can also create your own folders. So I created one on the PC uh, or via the PC onto the Oculus. There are different reasons why you want to access your media. Maybe you also just want to access, to be very honest with you, whether you're in a plane, in a taxi or on the subway MRT, you know, so you can transfer your pictures. This is a screenshot from an interview I did on the China Daily. Uh, China Daily is basically China's equivalent to CNN. Uh, for the English uh, speaking community. And then also um, there's a video that we made, our content creator made this video for the world's first creative talks using holographic technology, which we did with the creator and previous executive producer of the Billboard Music Awards. So let's check out the video. You should be able to hear the sound. Let me increase the sound level, here we go. So uh, this event took place in Beijing a couple years ago. It had some really, really cool people and it was all about uh, educating people about mixed reality and also helping uh, VX Entertainment. It was a collaboration with them, which is run by uh, Rick Garson, the, previous crea the creator and the previous executive producer of the Billboard Music Awards uh, to generate leads uh, for his business and more awareness. And this specific project was uh, actually reported by China's biggest um, media to about 400 million people. So it was a really, really cool way to generate content and work so people with, will come uh, here. with these guys. So there's another video. This was, so people will come here. this was downloaded from the web. And what I really want to show you is uh, because when you're into this content here, you see you're in a black space with only the screen itself. You can't adjust the screen. So there are other apps where you can adjust screens and all these kind of things. But I just wanted to show you the fastest way to view your content without having to fiddle around with too many things. And the reason why I downloaded this video, this video was actually an event that uh, I produced all about showcasing creative people. So as you can see here during this event, um, we did this at the Science Art Museum in uh, Singapore, which is an amazing, amazing place you can see there's a giant screen here. So I, w I needed really to see how, you know, um, how it will look. So the video that, that we produced, and then you can really see it, can give me an idea as to how it actually looks like on a screen. You see the screen, how massive it is. So we had a really big screen. So. This, uh, you know, will tell me when I look at it in VR, oh, okay, so the video will look, you know, will look blurry. 
you know, will, will it look blurry or will it look clear? How would it actually look uh, when it's going to be presented on a really, really big screen? Okay, so we're back. Now I'm gonna show you how you can actually transfer your files from your PC to your Oculus. It is so easy. It's exactly like transferring files onto a USB thumb drive. It's that easy. All right, let's go. So I'm looking at my screen now. So basically the first thing you wanna do is you'll want to plug in your Oculus Go uh, cable into the PC. You also need to make sure that you're not in developer mode. So if you're in developer mode, switch it off. Then once you're into the Oculus Go and it's hooked up to the PC, you'll have a notification in your headset to connect, to allow your headset to connect to your PC. Click OK. Uh, and then what will then happen is you'll see it directly as an icon here. It will say VR headset. By the way, I'm not sure how it works for Mac. I will put a link in the description below for anything to do related to Mac. I'm using a PC uh, and I'm using Windows version 10. So you'll have all your folders here, okay? DCIM is just like when you plug in a camera. And what I'm gonna focus on more is the Oculus folder here. You can also, by the way, download APKs, which enables you to sideload uh, specific programs that you wouldn't be able to access in the Oculus. For example, if you have a Netflix account and you want to download content, but you don't want to watch it straight away because uh, maybe you wanna watch it without having to use your Wi-Fi or your internet, uh, when you're on the go on the plane or in a train, then you can uh, do so by installing certain things. I'll talk about this in a separate video. So let's go to the Oculus folder. And in this folder, as you can see, you can create any folder whatsoever. So, you know, test folder. All right, and it will show up here. And when you access from the previous video in your gallery in the Oculus Go, it will show up there as well. I'm just going to delete this. So this was the actual uh, folder that I had created. That's a custom folder where you saw the previous things. So for example, if I was to delete all this, so I'll just copy it. Let's just create a new folder. Delete. So new folder, PC to Oculus, which I had done earlier. Oculus, sorry. All right then all you have to do is go and get the media which you are, uh, you know, you need. It doesn't matter where it's from. For me, it was from my downloads folder. And then you just hop, drag and drop. That's all you do. There's nothing else to do. It is that easy. Okay, so today we looked at how you can actually access all your media content from your Oculus Go, from your images and your videos. Remember to like and subscribe. Give me some love so this channel will get more promoted and more people will get to see the content. And also, of course, it will motivate me to do more for you. By the way, you can't upload any PDFs or PowerPoint presentations or other form of document using this method. There are other ways to do this and I will show you in up and coming videos. Remember also, please comment below. Tell me whether this actually has helped you or whether you actually view your content in VR and you know, how does it help you? Are there other apps that maybe you use that I could then feature and share with other people? So until next time, Take it easy, DJ, kickstart the music.